WKRG News 5 exclusive. We are with Mobile Police as they work to reduce violence in the city. Their mission to remove drugs from the campground community off of MLK. WKRG News 5's Nicolette Schleisman joins us live in the studio. And Nicolette, you went along with the MPD's narcotics and vice team as they rounded people up. Yeah, that's right. So we went out with them three different times over three weeks as they served a series of search warrants in an area they say has seen a rise in crime. Ten search warrants in the areas of Lola, Ann, Clay, and Gaston streets. In this particular operation, they're primarily dealing in crack cocaine, which is usually associated with more violence. It's all part of the hotspot policing the Mobile Police Chief has increased since taking office in October. So we look at crime, we look at uh, the hotspot, the data. We also get complaints of drug activity from people in the neighborhood. Uh, we do surveillance, we do undercover drug buys, we do these things, we identify the houses that are selling drugs, uh, we develop probable cause for a search warrant, and then we go execute search warrants, obtain drugs from the houses weapons as you'll see as you saw. Captain Jonathan Lee with the Special Investigation Section of the Mobile Police Department <laughs> says they had seen an increase in shootings in those areas, which led to this operation. <laughs> Seven of their targets were arrested during the operation. All are facing unlawful distribution of controlled substance charges. As part of the investigation, police also issued a temporary restraining order, or TRO, for a home on Lola Street. Our ultimate goal was not necessarily to seize property, but to, to get the owners of those residents to comply uh, for, and not have uh, people in there selling drugs so this community be safer. On top of seizing several grams of cocaine, crack cocaine, and marijuana, police also seized seven firearms, one of those stolen, and 16 boxes of AK-47 ammunition. When officers are able to seize weapons off the street, we are able to connect these guns to shootings and to other crimes. Now, these pictures show all of the items Mobile Police seized during the operation. Seven other people were arrested on active warrants or possession charges as the search warrants were served. Now, Mobile Police say they are still looking for six people, their targets, with active warrants for their arrest. We have a list of those people on our website, WKRG.com. Live in studio, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.